Good morning and welcome to the seventh meeting of the Power and Traffic Drainage Commission Scotland Bill Committee in 2018. The first item on our agenda today is to consider the merits of the two objections lodged on Amendment 9 proposed to the Bill. Evidence on the objections was taken at our meeting on 12 September 2018. Given the evidence we have heard and received to date, we will now consider the merits of each objection. While the committee is required to consider the merits of objections, it is optional for it to accept or reject the objections. The first objection we're going to consider is that by Mr and Mrs Watkins, and I would like to invite members of the committee to share their views. Thank you, um, convener. Mr and Mrs Watkins' objection um, contained five specific reasons for ob objection. And the promoters have accepted the first two parts of the objection and have made amendments and adjustments to the, the charge that the, the Watkins would be liable to, to pay. And taking account of the evidence that the committee received at our last meeting, um, I, I do not believe there is merit in the rest of the objection from Mr and Mrs Watkins, and I would um, suggest that we do not uphold it. Content with that position? Content with that position, yes. Okay, to summarise, the committee notes that the promoters have actually agreed with the basic premise of the Watkins objections, namely that part of the plot is actually owned by another party and that some of the land should have been categorised as amenity rather than residential land. And accordingly, the uh, promoters, having agreed with these points, have adjusted the schedule, which has reduced the Watkins assessment from nearly £1,400 to £538. Um, we note that the Watkins were seeking a further reduction of the amount um, of their land, which should be assessed as residential land. Uh, the promoters had not agree with this. Um, indeed, the promoters actually went on to establish more accurately the exact boundaries of the protected monument site with Historic Environment Scotland and have produced an updated assessment schedule. Uh, the committee is satisfied that the assessment of the Watkins uh, property as it now stands yeah. is appropriate. Therefore, the committee upholds the part of the objection concerning the ownership and categorisation of land and is satisfied that this has been addressed by the, the promoters. And the committee re therefore rejects the other parts of the objection, the objection relating to methodology and appeals as they are not affected by this amendment. The we we'll now turn to consider the second objection, and this is in the name of Mr and Mrs McGregor. I want to inform the committee that we have received a further submission from Mr McGregor and a response from the promoters, both of which are available on the Parliament's website. I would now like to invite the committee to make any comments with regards to the second objection in the name of Mr and Mrs McGregor. I think you know the McGregor's basic objection was that they viewed the property not to be in benefited land, and that the 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 well, the rainwater or whatever the stream didn't actually drain directly into the pow. However, I think the promoters came back with you know very strong evidence, which basically showed that the McGregor's property is on the plot, that does and it is benefited land, and as such should be treated in accordance with you know the terms of the bill. And I have to say I would support what the promoters produced and would agree with the promoters in this instance. Any comments? No, I would agree with um, the comments that have been made that we do not uphold the objection. So is the committee content to accept the promoters' reasons for saying that the McGregor's property is yes. and indeed has always been on benefited land and it therefore seems appropriate that the property should be assessed as set out in the bill? Yes. OK, Agreed. the committee therefore, therefore rejects the objection in full. That concludes our consideration of the objections. Objectors will be contacted by the clerk and informed of the decisions taken. As our next item is in private to consider a draft report, I will shortly suspend the meeting. The next meeting of the committee will be on Wednesday 24th October at 12pm and will be to consider the amendments to the bill at consideration stage. The committee will now move into private.